what's going on youtube welcome to the channel thanks for checking out the channel if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that like button hit the subscribe button hit the notify button where we're always dropping new toyota to toyota tacoma content or a forerunner or two we got my guy john scott up in here so if you guys are looking for a new toyota whatever or used toyota make sure you holler at this man he's been out here at wilsonville toyota for a long time and uh, he knows a lot of stuff. So we're gonna ride with him. He's gonna let me test drive this awesome piece of machinery. So I haven't drove a 4Runner or lifted one ever. So yeah, this has got the Iron Man set up. They got 285s, they got those new 4Runner wheels. Yeah, we'll, we're gonna pass it up over to John. I just wanna test drive this thing and see what it's really working with. So here we go. Give this to my guy. Swinging around, man. Wow, Jesus. And I feel like I'm sitting up higher already. Okay, John. So, um, tell them. So, you got some. You got some social media stuff, right? So, what's your what's your uh, what's your Instagram page? Uh, 503 JSP. 503 JSP. You guys. So, hit him up, and you guys can see all the cool builds. Cause he uh, he works with the guys when they do all these cool builds that were in here. So he he could tell us everything about it. So, wow, I'm super excited. So, we ain't gonna take this thing too far, but we just going. We're gonna take it out. <laughs> wow. Got the sunroof in here. You got the back window. Wow. I'm a little nervous, guys. This what is it? How much is this, John? Uh, this is just over 60K Ooh, just with all the accessories. With all these accessories. That Iron Man lift kit on it, man. And these 285s. Ooh. Oh, yeah, this thing is, oh. Metal tech sliders, none of the just steps, the weak stuff. You got the Southern style off-road. Wow, this as is- As well, center locking safe. Oh, you got the safe in here too, guys. This is nice, guys. I can already feel the power in this truck. And um, the seating positioning too is definitely different. Um, I guess we'll go, we'll go. Oh yeah, that Mario Bros. We came out. My my daughter can't stop watching that Mark Super Mario Brothers movie. <laughs> we done watched it probably a hundred times in the last week or so. But anyway, guys, no. Speaking of Mario Brothers and Nintendo, right? Another Japanese company. But yeah, these guys. This Forerunner is nice, guys. This is. I want one of these trucks so bad. But yeah, it's just cruising along, and it's. I want to get up here and just turn around and see how the turning is but no this is this is nice the power in this i mean i'm barely touching it it's, it's going this is a lot more it seems like it's a little bit more powerful than our tacomas i've been hearing that the low end torque so i, I definitely noticed it and this is on bigger wheels and tires yeah you definitely have the more low end torque with the 4.0 v6 that 3.5 that you have in yours really wants to run hot and high rpm which a lot of people aren't used to yep. they're used to their dads telling them to shift at 2000 rpms yep. where that tacoma really wants to run in that 4000 range to get optimal fuel economy okay uh just because it has dual port injection so it has two injectors per cylinder actually so you have as many in injectors as like a 12 valve you know so oh wow so so and then this does this thing have an eco mode too i mean it automatically pops up for you it's really just letting you know you're driving efficiently okay it's not like an eco mode it's like a pat on the back saying you're saving polar bears okay okay nice yeah i like this a lot guys um like i said the seating positioning is different in here you can definitely um you can feel it and i'm still like adjusting it it's a nice seat and it's a it's got the heater too right yep i feel it heated seats so does Heated this, steering wheel. Does it have lane departure or any or any of that stuff? Yeah, lane departure, pre-collision, pedestrian warning, lane departure. Does it have uh, the assist? Will it, yeah, it'll, it'll drive steer a steer for you? Back a little bit for you. Obviously, you don't want to go autonomous driving with it or take your hands off. It gets mad. Okay. But it'll beep at you. It'll pull you back. All those kind of things. Okay. So basically, the same as the Rav. Yep. Exactly. Okay. Because the Rav basically drives itself, right? If you, Darn near. Yeah. Rav has Toyota Safety Sense 2.5. And this is 2.0. So this is 2.0, okay. so it's slightly different, uh -huh. but it's very, very small. Yeah. So like I was trying to adjust the speaking of the the lane assist stuff. So when I was driving this this Camry that I'm driving as a rental, um, I kept trying to turn it off, but it really yanks you. Like if you don't put your blinker on, 
It like really yanks you yeah, like aggressively. Cause it, yeah, because it wants to keep you in that lane. Uh -huh. Once you turn on that lane or the turn signal, it knows that you want to get over. Yeah. Um, now we have Toyota Safety Sense 3.0, where passing someone on the freeway and still using adaptive cruise control, lane departure, they actually work conjunctively together and you can actually pass someone pretty quickly uh -huh. instead of it taking a second. So those are kind of the minor changes. Same with this one having um, adaptive cruise control. It's not full range adaptive cruise control where it'll take you down to zero miles an hour. This one will take you down to about 25 and then kick off. Okay. Yeah, this, this ride, you guys, I'm definitely noticing like Sometimes it seems like at lower speeds, that's the, really the only time I noticed that the Tacoma kind of like, it's kind of like, it doesn't know what gear it is sometimes. It's just like really low speed sometimes when I'm first taking off, it seems like, I don't know, like the RPMs, it's just kind of weird, but it's, it's very seldom. But with this, it just seems like it's nice and smooth, even at lower speeds. And then if you get on it, it just goes. It's not really like a lag. Yeah, it's just that kind of different, different mindset that the style motor has from, you know, this motor is essentially from 2003, not a, ton of changes on it from the fourth gen forerunner yeah because that other one it tries to tries to figure out how you drive and do all exactly. that stuff and remembers and stuff but this one it's just like no it's just you get in and you do what you want it to do and it'll do it yeah exactly yeah because it's very responsive and like with the bigger wheels and tires and everything i don't feel like like it's having a problem at all yeah and you can still get a tune on this or like a tacoma from like pacific northwest tuning they do their ov tuning that help out a lot as well yeah no this thing is this thing is nice it feels like it really wants to just go like i've been babying it but no this thing feels like it gets up and goes so yeah I, like i haven't had a problem with any of the power and speed and stuff like that for these trucks and this is this definitely drives really nice so if you guys are on the fence about getting one of these forerunners i highly recommend you grab one this is this has been awesome man thanks a lot john for for doing this video with me man yeah absolutely glad to help and i'll take it i'll take it i'll just spin it around because i'm gonna still <laughs> still show them some we'll show them some options and stuff out here so yeah guys that was awesome so look at this uh here's your adjustable seat right here is there adjustable on that side too john no not the passenger seat is there power? power? Power seat, but okay. you're not gonna be able to make it go up or down. It's just gonna be forward, back, okay. tilt. Okay. Well, that's still you. good. It's better than the Tacoma. You get nothing. No <laughs> we power only just on the Tacoma. Got power seat on the driver's side. Exactly. In, in 2020. Exactly. Yeah. So you guys, this is the Metal Tech. I like these sliders on here. And that's a local brand, which is pretty cool. Um, made out there in Sherwood, Tualatin. Okay. And these sliders are really hardcore. I have these on my 100 series Land Cruiser. So you can high lift from those, you can winch from those. Um, they're attached to the frame instead of just your pinch welds like a lot of the other steps and sliders that you'll see some other guys putting on. Now they make these for Tacoma too? Yep, yep, Metal Tech out of Sherwood Tualatin. They how much those run, run you? They're 2100, 2100 I think installed, 2400, something like that. Oh, so these ain't cheap? No, and these are powder coated too. A lot of times you can get them for cheaper, but they're gonna be bare. Uh -huh. And then you got to go pay to powder coat them is like if someone wanted them to match their car or something like that. Okay. And then it's got the Southern style off road rack, the Gobi ladder. Oh yeah, they got the ladder. Well. Okay. Yes, this is sweet, man. I like this. They got it all blacked out in the back. Yep. Did that come from the port or factory? We did that. Oh, you guys did that yourself. Yep. So you guys saw so, the detail. So like, so what is this right here? So this is like a whole cover. So it's what they call an overlay. So these are actually just plastic covers. Uh -huh. They'll have their own 3M adhesive uh -huh. on each one of these guys. Okay. So you have to individually put these on, okay. sanitize them before, kind of get them warm and then put them on. Okay. That way they don't come off in a car wash. And you guys sell those like here that. too, right? Yep. OEM. We sell those here for you. And then, oh, and then you could roll the window down outside from, the car? Yep, from How? outside with the key. Because I have the key so fob the key, on me. And then you just, is there a certain button you had to push to do that? Nope, just those buttons there just and just because soonest. I have the key on me. Okay, and even if the car's not even turned on? Yep. That's awesome, you guys. <laughs> I'm loving these trucks even more and more. I mean, this is a beautiful piece of machinery. Now, how long have they been on this body style for? You can help me with that. So 2010 was when the fifth generation started. Mm -hmm. um, they had a facelift in 2014. Mm -hmm. And then 2020, they added Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and optional blind spot monitor. Mm -hmm. Now they have standard blind spot monitor 
blinker Wait, indicators and stuff yeah so the indicators actually mean that the car it's a premium okay so if you had a regular sr5 or a regular off-road uh -huh. you wouldn't have the turn signals on the outside uh -huh. these guys here and then they didn't even put these on the pro until like 22 or something which was <laughs> yeah. weird like that didn't even make That's sense right. i mean they didn't even have sunroofs on a lot of those until later same with the tacomas yeah yeah they really cut a lot of those kind of things out of the pros a lot of times okay and then this one also has the multi-terrain view yep okay for you so the 360 that. view okay and then this is your toyota safety sense lidar radar in conjunction with your cameras up there for you so when you're out spashing in the snow you want to make sure you keep that yeah. clear from the snow exactly okay all right well man you guys that's gonna do it man thanks a lot john for taking us out there on a test go. drive i can't wait to watch this video <laughs> But uh, thanks for uh, checking out the channel, you guys. Have a good day and God bless. Be safe and have a good weekend. And come holler at John out here at Wilsonville Toyota where they're always taking money off of, you know, taking off thousands. So they got you guys covered. Have a good day and God bless. Peace.